Locker Room Workbook is now shipping. Order yours today, and Coach Giggs wants you to be in the next book. Send your comments and testimony to workbook at delilockerroom.com. Hey there, and welcome to the Locker Room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, Renew Your Mind. Folks, in the Bible, there's a piece of scripture that goes like this, quote, Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Folks, the great battle goes on right here. All religions, all psychologists. Earl Nightingale taught me that every day you and I have to choose to program what we will think about and focus on. Whether you do it by design or by default, you will be the result of the thinking that you have had up to this point. If you want to change your life, then you have to change your thinking today so you have better results. If you choose to renew your mind today with positive thoughts and do that over a sustained period of time, you will reprogram your thinking for success instead of failure. For all of my life, I have spent time programming my thinking by following the advice of the great thinkers. And I was told that your life and mine is the result of those two things, the people we meet and associate with and the books we read. While you can't always meet the people you'd like to meet, you can read their books. Remember, the choice is always yours. In fact, right behind me, many of you have asked me if I've actually read all these books, and the answer is yes, I have. In some of them, I have gone so far as to not just read, but then make little highlights on it and come back to it. So again, your life and mine, it follows our thoughts, and those thoughts are the result of the people we associate with and the books we read. So let's make a commitment to live our best lives by following these two steps and I'll guarantee your best life ever. Thanks for joining me, gang. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.